Welcome to Electron Lime. Here's another perfect problem to use the source transformation technique on to simplify it and ultimately solve it. What we're trying to do here is try to find the current through the 7 ohm resistor. Notice there are three sources. There's two current sources. There's a voltage source. How do we simplify that? Well, it turns out one step at a time. The first thing we're going to do is combine these two resistors. 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 ohms and reverse the position of the current, the current source and the resistor so you can see it in a more familiar form. Here also we're going to combine the 6 and the 3 ohm resistor. Notice that those two resistors are in parallel. These were in series but these are in parallel so we have to use the product over the sum technique and we're going to place it there, the two combined there to show that it looks in a more familiar form that way. The circuit will now look as follows. We still have our 5 amp source but those two resistors, 6 times 3 is 18, 6 plus 3 is 9, 18 divided by 9 is 2, that becomes an equivalent of 2 ohm resistor, and we'll place it there. We still have our 5 volt source at the top. We'll keep our 7 ohm resistor there because we're trying to find the current going through that resistor, 7 ohms. And I suppose that's what we're looking for. And Combining those two, placing it over here, along with the current source over there. This is now 5 ohms, and this is now a current source of 3 amps. We really didn't need to do that, but it makes it easier to see that now we can convert this into a voltage source, we can convert this easily into a voltage source. That will now look as follows. On the left side, this becomes a voltage source plus minus, we'll figure out what the voltage is in just a moment. The 2 ohm resistor is still there. There's still a 5 volt source over here. We have the 7 ohm resistor at this location. This, became two, this is still 2 ohms, this is 7 ohms. We're looking for the current, I sub O. And this now becomes as follows. It will become a 5 ohm resistor in series with another voltage source over here. We'll figure out what the voltage source, the voltage is in just a moment, and that's 5 ohms. Using Ohm's law, we know that I is equal to V over R, and we know that V is equal to I times R. To find the voltage equivalent here, we must multiply the current times the resistance. 5 times 2 is 10, that becomes a 10 volt source. Here we multiply the current times the resistance, 3 times 5 is 15, this becomes a 15 volt source from Ohm's law. What's next? Let's see here. Ah, this is now on the same branch. I can combine these two. When I do that this becomes a 10 volt and a 5 volt combined will be a 15 volt source. So we can put them both right there. So plus or minus is now a 15 volt source in series with a 2 ohm resistor. I still have my 7 ohm resistor over here. This is a 2 ohm resistor. I have a 5 ohm resistor here. 15 volt source here. Plus minus 15 volts. 5 ohms. And like this. Now that we have it in this form, I begin to realize, you know what, there's probably, what I should do, now do is probably convert this back into two current sources and then combine the two current sources because they're at the ends of the, of the circuit on both sides of the circuit because that reminds me of the technique. Here's an example where, where you see that I did something at first and now I have to reverse back. I'll go from here back to this format because that's a better way in the end to solve the problem. I didn't know that at the time, so there you can see that you don't always get to the final stage in the most direct path, but that's quite okay. So let's go ahead and convert this now into two current sources. On the left side, this will now become a current source with a resistor in parallel. We still have our 7 ohm resistor in the middle, and then this will become a current source with a 5 ohm resistor in parallel and the direction of the current will be up. This one, it will be a 2 ohm resistor. This here is a 5 ohm resistor. This is a 7 ohm resistor. And I'm still looking for the current I down the 7 ohm resistor. Now I need to find the current, uh, the magnitude of the current. 
I is V over R. So let me do that over here. I is equal to V divided by R. So 15 volts divided by 2 ohms. 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. That's a 7.5 amp source. Here we have 15 volts divided by 5 ohms. That's a 3 amp source. The reason I did that is because now I can combine the 2 ohm and the 5 ohm resistor and I can move this over to the other side so you can see the two currents side by side to reduce that to a single current. 2 and 5 ohm resistor in parallel. So our total of two resistors in parallel is the product of the sum 2 times 5 over 2 plus 5 which is 10 divided by 7. That combined resistor, when I combine the 2 ohm and the 5 ohm resistor, will result in a 10 divided by 7 ohm resistor. 7 ohm resistor. Here's the combined resistor. This becomes 10 over 7 ohms. This is still my 7 ohm resistor. I'm still looking for the current along that resistor. And here I still have my 3 amp source, and I'm moving my 7 amp source over here. And again, I do that so I can show you what that looks like. Otherwise, you can simply combine the two immediately as is. But sometimes it makes it easier to see it side by side like that. What I've done now is I combine these two resistors into a single resistor, move this current source to the other side. Now we have two current sources side by side driving current through the circuit. I can combine that into a single circuit. I'll move the seven, the, yeah, I have that one over there. The seven ohm resistor. I have a 10 sevenths, so this is 10 over 7 ohms, this is 7 ohms, I'm looking for the current in that resistor, and these two combined will now form a single current source at 10.5 amps. I can now probably just simplify it to one more step, I can combine these two and turn it into, in, into a voltage source with a resistor in series. When I do, it'll look like this. This is still the 7 ohm resistor. This is still the 10 divided by 7 ohm resistor. This is now a voltage source. And to find the voltage, I need to go to Ohm's law. I equals V over R, or V is equal to I times R. In that case, the current was 10.5 amps, and the resistance was 10 divided by 7. This becomes 105 divided by 7. So V is, what is 105 divided by 7? 105 divided by 7 equals, ooh, exactly. Ah, didn't realize. 15 volts. 15 volts. I'm still looking for the current through the 7 ohm resistor. I sub O is equal to question mark. Now it's a really easy problem because it's a simple circuit. The current can be found using Ohm's law. I equals V over R. The voltage on the circuit now is 15 volts, and the total resistance is 7 plus 10 over 7. So that becomes 15 volts divided by 49 plus 10, which is 59 over 7, and that's ohms. And so finally, I can find my current. It's 15 times 7 divided by 59. And the current is 1.78, 1.78 amps. And that's how we do that. So that is I sub O, 1.78 amps. Wow, that is kind of interesting. And it's actually fun. It's not hard to do that. And it doesn't matter if you go one step and then you have to go back a step or two to continue. Just keep going, keep simplifying, keep combining resistors, keep combining current sources, keep combining voltage sources whenever possible, and, simple, and then it finally ends up into a very simple circuit you can easily solve for the unknown quantity you're looking for. So that's how we use the source transformation technique to simplify a complicated circuit into something very simple that can be solved like that.